This conference will now be recorded. Okay, uh, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is enterprise structure. Okay, so in the enterprise structure, the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is enterprise structure, what is client, what is company code, what is plant, okay, and what is storage location. Then organizational units for plan maintenance model. Then we will understand what is maintenance plant, maintenance planning plant, maintenance plant, and plan. So these are the topics we will be covering in the enterprise structure. Okay. So enterprise structure. Enterprise structure is the structure that represents an enterprise SAP ERP system. Okay. So enterprise structure means. It is nothing but the organization structure. So not normally any company, normally the manufacturing companies will have their presence in different countries, in different cities, in different states, in different provinces. Okay. So all those things are initially mapped into the system using enterprise structure. Enterprise structure is nothing but an organization structure. It is subdivided into various organizational units, which for legal reason or business related reason are grouped. So first thing in any SAP implementation is defining the enterprise structure, organization structure. So this is required for legal reasons and business reasons. To execute the day-to-day -day business activities, you need this enterprise structure. Enterprise structure defines various levels in an organization. So basically you get the entire organization, all the levels. Okay, uh, how many manufacturing units it is having, how many distribution centers, where they are located. Okay, how many go-downs, warehouses it is having. Okay, how many HR offices, where they are located, including address, everything you will get with this enterprise structure organization structure okay so now let's move on now these are the normally organizational elements from pm perspective first is client next one is company code i will explain all these things in detail next one is plant okay now coming from pm perspective maintenance plant maintenance planning plant okay we will discuss all these things one by one so first let's start with the client so I'll open Excel file. So first one is a client. Okay, client. So let's say you are implementing uh, SAP for a uh, Toyota automobiles. Okay. Toyota, what do they do? Uh, Toyota, what do they do? Toyota automobiles. Nagesh. They manufacture the cars. cars uh, they, manuf cars. Auto, they manufacture cars. Correct? Mm -hmm. yes. uh, they manufacture cars. So let's say you are implementing Toyota, you, you are implementing SAP for Toyota automobiles. Okay. So then Toyota automobiles will become your client. Client is nothing but the company. Simple terms. To keep it simple, Toyota. Uh, Client is nothing but a company, organization. This is SAP terminology. This is our day-to-day uh, -day terminology. So client is nothing but a company, organization. Okay. So that is client. Okay. So next one. Next one is a company code. So company code is a independent financial unit. Okay. Suppose let's say company code. Company code. So company code means, okay. Now, uh, Toyota Automobiles uh, basically is from Japan. You might be knowing this. Okay, Toyota Automobiles, this company is basically from Japan. Okay, even though it is from Japan, it is having its presence in entire world. Any country you go, you will be able to see the uh, Toyota cars. Okay, not only India, US, UK, Singapore, Malaysia, in any country, any country you go, normally you will be able to see Toyota cars. Toyota is a leading automobile manufacturer in the entire world. 
okay so now let's say we will take some countries let's say us okay usa uk united kingdom okay uh, of course uh, singapore singapore okay uh, and then india india okay so now toyota automobiles is having its presence in these countries correct toyota automobiles is having its presence in all, in all these countries okay. so usa uk uh, singapore india so what what they do is whatever they do in in usa okay whatever they do in usa like manufacturing sales distribution whatever they do they will generate their profit and loss statements balance sheets okay all financial rate statements at country level so this usa is created as a one company code company code is nothing but a independent independent accounting unit this is for finance people actually accounting unit okay it is an independent accounting unit okay this is a uh, so but tomorrow they want to take a balance sheet at uh, usa country level okay so then they will create usa as a one company code like this four character code uk let's say like this singapore let's say india of course like this they will create a company code with this code okay of course company code is for finance people don't worry this is sap terminology this is our day to day term okay now the next one is the plant okay plant so what is plant so a plant can be anything it can be a manufacturing unit okay it can be a distribution center okay or it can be a, a warehouse separate warehouse separate warehouse huh? mm -hmm. and even a hr office is termed as plants plant will be physically existing Okay, so now let's limit our discussion to India. So let's say Toyota Automobiles India, they have their one of the car manufacturing facility in let's say Mumbai. Mumbai. Okay, and they have their car, one of another car manufacturing facility in let's say Goa. These are all manufacturing units. Manufacturing unit. Okay. Goa. Let's say Toyota Automobiles India, they have a, their distribution center in Chennai. Chennai. Okay, so this is a man, Mumbai is a manufacturing unit. Goa is a, in Goa, they have a manufacturing unit. In Chennai, they have a distribution center. And in, let's say, uh, what do you call it? Delhi. Delhi, they have a corporate office, HR office in Delhi. So all these things are called as plants in the system okay all these are called plants okay so mumbai will become a plant goa is a plant chennai is a plant delhi is a plant so they will attach a four digit code to it 4100 i'm just giving an example 4200 4300 4400 like this they will attach a four digit alphanumeric code so basically plant can be anything it can be a manufacturing unit where they produce cars it can be a distribution center from where they distribute the cars or sell the cars to the customers or even a corporate office head office hr office that is also termed as a plant plant will be physically existing okay so that is plant now the next one is storage location storage location why we are discussing all these things is in the next class in the subsequent classes you will you will hear these terms frequently plant storage location and all so that's why you should know these terms so what is storage location so storage location is just a place place where they keep the materials okay they they keep the materials storage location is the place where they store the materials suppose let's say um, in your house let's say where you will keep uh, oil sugar pepper all these things kitchen the kitchen items the items which are used during cooking you keep it in kitchen one place so similar kind of materials are stored in one place the place is called storage like all raw materials they will keep it in one place all packing materials 
they keep it in one place okay all uh, what do you call machine spare parts they will keep it in one place that place is called what do you call storage location storage Someone location not. is Oh, sorry. So, Nagesh here. Okay. Uh, for this, we have the warehouse here. You already mentioned, right? No, no. Warehouse is a overall one. In the warehouse, again, you will store different metals at different places, right? All you cannot mix up, right? Oh, okay. Suppose, let's say your your house. Take the case of your house. In the house, oh. you will not keep all the metals at uh, 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 everywhere. You keep all the metals at everywhere. All oh, right. Yes, all the yes. kitchen items, you keep it in kitchen. All the yes. bed sheets, pillows, where you will keep in the bedroom. Is that correct? Okay. Yes, uh, yes. So, according to their nature, according to their properties, similar kind of materials are stored in one place. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, that, is, that place is called storage location. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, that is the storage location. So, you should know these terms client, company code, plant, and storage location. Of course, we will not be creating all these things in the system. These will be created by the MM team or FI team. Materials management team or FI team will create these, these ones in the system. Okay. So now let's move on. Next, we will start about our PM arc structure. So in the PM arc structure, the main ones are, first one is the maintenance plant. Maintenance plant. So maintenance plant, is the plant where your equipments are located maintenance plant for a technical object is the plant at which it is installed so simple terms keep it simple maintenance plant is the plant where your equipments machines are located machines are located that is called maintenance plant next one maintenance planning plant maintenance planning plant is the plant where your planning activities happens happens that is maintenance planning plant. Sometimes both can be seen. Sometimes both can be different at different places. Okay, I'll tell you a scenario. Okay, suppose take the Toyota automobiles. Okay, same case. Okay, so let's say uh, Toyota automobiles, they have a plant in Mopal. Okay, this is the uh, where they have equipment, manufacturing machines. So this is a maintenance plant. Okay. Now, in the same Mumbai plant, they will do the planning activities for the machines. So, this will become a maintenance plant. MP means maintenance plant. MPP means maintenance planning plant. Okay. Now, they have another manufacturing unit in Goa. Okay. So, to, man to manufacture the products, obviously, you need equipment. So, this Goa is a planning plant. Okay. Now, same Goa is also a planning plant all the planning activities related to machines happens in this from the same site so goa is a um, uh, mpp planning plant now they have a distribution center in chennai or let's say they started a new uh, what do you call uh, uh, what do you call a manufacturing unit in chennai okay now they have one more two manufacturing units in chennai but due to certain reasons, due to certain reasons, the planning activities related to these plants happens in Delhi. 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 Okay. So the Chennai people, if they need any spare parts or anything, they will contact the Delhi head office. So here, Chennai is a maintenance plant, but Delhi is a maintenance plant. So both are different. Both are different. Sometimes both can be same. Sometimes both can be different. Both can be different. Okay. So now where this will be available, we will see. Okay. So whenever a plant is created, by default, it will become a maintenance plant. When the MM team creates a plant, the by default, it will become a maintenance plant. But to define a plant as a maintenance planning plant, you have to do that concept. So I'll show you this in the system. So now let's log into the system. Okay, just keep. Hmm, okay. I'm logging onto the S4 on the system.
Okay, so go to IW20, go to configuration, SPR. So to see the configuration, you need to enter SPR on the command field, enter. You will get this screen. Go to SAP reference IMG, click on this button. IMG means implementation guide, click on this. Okay, so once you click on this, here you see there is a node, enterprise structure. Open this, here, definition, open this, here plan maintenance open this here maintain maintenance planning plan open this here you have all the planning plans are there. whenever the plant is created by mmt that will become by default maintenance plan but to create to make a plant as a maintenance planning plant you have to go to configuration see this is the planning plan okay so if you want to make a plant as a maintenance planning plant, you have to click on new entries. You have to enter that planning, that plant code here and save it. This is the place where you 